I mean, they, you know, every every day they feed off of one another, and one, you know, every day they they set a new bar for the next day. So uh, it's been a lot of fun to watch them, especially some of our young guys, watch them grow. But uh, the two veteran guys that we got, you know, that are pitching in five days, they set the precedence. You know, they take the ball every five days. Um, they don't, they don't complain, they don't gripe. They just go out there and they do their job. And uh, I think these young guys are learning a lot from them. As we approach September, what kinds of things are you looking at from the young guys that might tip you off that you need to back off or? You know, you've talked about trying to limit them at some point here at the end. Yeah, we're watching. We're watching all kinds of stuff with them. Uh, like I said, we're doing a lot of measurements on uh, on, uh, on their release point. Um, their arms are dragging. You know, we're, we're doing some stuff on their, on their lower half, um, their hips, uh, all kinds all kinds of things. And then just the eye test with them. You know, um, to see how they're doing, to see how they're going throughout the game. Um, a lot of the stuff. You know, for example, with yesterday. You know, I'm sure we could have got another any out of Josiah. But you know, my indication was you know that he he, he was done, and um, we'll get him ready for his next start. So um, you know, so we're, we're going to keep monitoring, we're going to keep watching. I mean, uh, Hickey, myself, Ricky, you know, with the bullpen guys, we're really keeping an eye on all these guys and make sure that you know um, we do the right thing for them, for this, for our organization, because we know what we're building for in the future. When CJ steals multiple bases in a game like he did last night, um, what's the biggest? Uh, Thing that you attribute that to? No, oh, he's, he's engaged. He's totally engaged in, uh, in the game and what he needs to do. So um, he's been getting on base, and uh, as I always talk to him, um, a walk or a single turns in, possibly turns into a double with him. Um, yesterday, it, you know, a single turned into a triple, which was awesome. You know, but um, I want he's understanding how to play the game. He's understanding what, what, when he can steal a base, how he can steal a base. Um, he pick his he picks pitches. He works with with EY on different things on what to look for with pitchers. Um, but he's do, done a great job. You know, of when he gets over to being aggressive. Jake Lou hasn't been here very long, but he's started at three different positions and it's kind of becoming a regular thing for him. That's the kind of thing you would normally see from a veteran or ask a veteran to do. What is it about him that makes you feel like he can handle an unusual assignment as a rookie like that? Yeah, he's he's been, he's been good, you know. And every day you watch him, he takes he takes balls in all three positions. Um, he, he prepares himself. Um, you know, but I think the biggest thing when you have guys that play multiple positions like like that, especially going from the, the infield to the outfield, is their arm. And um, he's done a real good job of taking care of his arm. Um, we, we tell him a lot about about um, not changing, you know, the, his release point um, per se. I know it's a little different when he turned double plays, but he's been really good about keeping his arm in good shape. Does it take a particular type of young player to accept and embrace doing those kind of multiple things? You, you said that word, word, your word I would use is you got to embrace it, and um, he's done it really well. Riley and K Bear, they're getting experience. They're not like veteran catchers, but what can be the benefit of having catchers kind of on the younger side to help somebody like Drew when he comes up? Yeah, it's been it's 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 been great. These guys learned on the fly, you know, and they had to learn really quickly. Um, they both have done really well. They both have been engaged in uh, in meetings with pitchers, uh, with Hickey, uh, um, doing that work with Henry. You know, Henry's taught him a lot about just the, the catching portion and. and uh, how to how to get pitchers back in the zone, uh, things of that nature. So, um, you know, I think I think Drew could relate to them because they're young, you know, and uh, and sometimes a veteran guy that's been around such a, for a long time has his own routine. You know, it doesn't always go. You know, um, these guys they're all congregate together. They all they all uh, listen. They learn from one another, um, and they're really good. Riley Riley and, and Caber have an unbelievable relationship together, uh, and, I, and I'm uh, I know they'll take Drew in, and uh, and teach him what they what they know so far. But um, he's he's going to learn as well. He's going to learn on the fly. Um, Henry got him yesterday and told him to be ready to work, and uh, he was out there for a good half hour, you know, just working on blocking balls, framing. Um, you know, talking about different pitches. Um, so, um, but you know, I think he's going to be a good one because he's, he's willing to put the work in.